Hi everybody, it's Susan. Hope everybody's doing well today. I'm at another Christmas project yet once again. Um, there's just a little bit of a story behind this, but I'm going to show you what I had made first. I was looking for a place to hang this quickly so I can make this video, but I couldn't find a place until I just found a statue in my house and just having it stand on that for now. But anyway, um, wanting to show you, um, this is a Christmas wreath. And I made it a Christmas wreath because when I bought it in the fabric store, it had three tiny little junky flowers on it. And that's all that was on it. And it had the, um, that those, uh, you know, it's like the, the twine. And it was so funny that I, I took two of those and the woman says to me, what are you going to do with that? She says, they're so, they're cheap looking. And I says, well, that's the idea. <laughs> They're, they're cheap looking, but it's it's totally fine. I'm just trying to make that look Christmassy. And I said it was totally fine because uh, when it's done, uh, after I get finished with it, it's not going to look like that anymore. So I brought it home, and I've been sitting on it for a little bit, and um, I tore the flowers off. They were horrible. I wouldn't even use them on the cheapest project. But I threw those away, and there I was staring at this saying, what am I going to do? I had bought some poinsettia flowers that I was going to put on there, dress it up a little bit, and then thought, you know what, um, I think I'm going to just um, make my own flowers. And who said it has to be poinsettias on a wreath, right? So what I did was is I made these roses out of the Tim Holtz tatted floral dye following uh, the same method as all of the other flowers by cutting one petal then on another flower, two petals, and putting them together from there. I used my hot glue gun, and on top of the um, on top of the flower, there is some very red uh, with a gold uh, highlight in it of a glimmer mist. I'm not in my scrap room, so I couldn't tell you what it is. Uh, if you need to know, you can always email me, and I can tell you then. Um, and there there are two roses like that. And then um, in that dye, gee, it looks like the lighting is not that great, right? Um, in that dye, um, I also had made uh, this little, like, uh, ball kind of flower. And then you have this other flower here, which is that smaller rose that's in that uh, dye. And this is just my regular uh, flower rose, the ones that I always make. But instead of using three or four layers, there's about eight layers in that one to make it look fuller. Here is a little bit with uh, three layers to make it look a little smaller. And on some of the flowers is just a little hinge, a little bit of stickles, just to give it a little bit of highlight. Um, there's also, I don't know if I can use this candle here as some lighting, but there's also uh, a gold flower there. And these other little uh, sparkly leaves that are behind there are all fill-ins that I stuck in after I put the flowers on to just kind of cascade it somewhat on one side. I kind of like that look. I've made many, many wreaths before. I've even made wedding wreaths at one time. And um, I've always wound up favoring one side of the wreath with cascading leaves and feathers and flowers and all kinds of little goodies. And um, these, these here are, are from Michaels. They were 99 cents for one stem with about four or five of them on there. So I cut out one here and one here. This is a, not a Christmas leaf. It's just a random leaf from a, um, a, a faux silk uh, arrangement that I have that I just cut it off. And here's another leaf that I have. Again, same uh, stem from a stem flower. I just cut it off. Um, this is a, a poinsettia leaf that I cut off from another um, uh, set that I had purchased. I can't even move the statue. And um, these are really pretty. This comes about 10 leaves on one stem. And what I had done was I cascaded some of them around. And then instead of cutting off that long point that you would stick it into like a plant or something, I coiled it around a big thick paintbrush, which it was hard to turn because it wasn't a lightweight wire. It was really heavy. And then I kind of stuck it right behind. And I'll just take this off here and I'll... I'll show you the back of it. 
See how I just stuck it right behind that and that the coil piece comes out in the center? Who's going to see the back? This is going to be hanging somewhere in my house. Not on the door because we usually put uh, a real one on the front door outside. Um, and coming back to this one, he has also some of these cute little um, uh, fern uh, sparkly leaves. I did silver, green, and um, some gold in this arrangement. I happen to love the gold. Uh, the only time I favor red is Christmas and Valentine's. That is it. This is a really pretty, like, um, I don't know what kind of bell that is, but it's really pretty. I bought a box of bells about two months ago when Michael started putting out little bits and drops of Christmas things to play around with. And um, in between, I have a bag. I don't know if you can see my hallway, but that's the hallway when you come up the steps here. I have these huge um, pine cones. And um, I also have a bag of pine cones that I purchased that smells like cinnamon. And the very bottom of the bag, there's these really little, tiny, um, little pine cones. So I put those in as a decoration as well. And it looks really pretty. And for some reason, I'm just not feeling the lighting here. So I'm just going to quickly, I'm sorry, guys. I'm always trying to make the video look nice when I do it, but just putting it on a background wall, um, you can then see the, the little pine cones and um, the flowers. See, there's a pine cone. The very tips of them, I put some white paint on there. Let me see if I can <laughs> get towards the light here a little bit. Okay, um, now you can see it a little bit better, I'm sure. I'm so sorry, you guys. Let me see if I can put a light on here. Is that better? That's a little bit better. Isn't that so cute? I totally love it. I love the way that it came out. And there's the flowers. See, there's the cones with a little paint on them. And that whole bag is like $4.99, so you can have a field day making projects. I mean, I've used that already in four different birdhouse arrangements, and I used a lot of them and they come with some really big ones in there. So that those are kind of fun to work with. And this ribbon is gorgeous. It's 50 yards of ribbon for $6.99 in BJ's. They had loads of different kinds, and I do have a couple from last year and the year before. It's like you can't get rid of it. And what I had done was, if you look at the flip side here, um, I had wrapped some of that ribbon around there just so that I'd have um, the flowers on the vine with a little more reinforcement because these vines are kind of skinny, it's not thick. So, anyway, um, let me see if I can hang it. Oh no, that thing came off. Oh, I got no way to hang it. Sorry, guys. But yeah, there's my Christmas wreath. It's really cute. I have one more that I'm going to make. I think I'm going to give it to my mommy. And um, that's it. So, um, I'm, I do think I'm going to be making a big one for the hallway downstairs. And uh, maybe one for the side, or I don't know. It was kind of fun. The only downfall is making my flowers. They're so time-consuming, but they're really pretty. That's the Tim Holtz Tattered Dye Flower. Looks really great. Okay, so I um, hope everybody is, uh, is doing well. And um, I'm trying to hide this so that nobody gets dizzy. <laughs> I'll put my hand in front of it, but it's tied up. And, and I hope that you liked my, um, my first uh, Christmas wreath uh, viewing here. And have a good day. See you later. Bye.